Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode oh, of Mick Mower. I've got my little Riley boy here. He's absolutely full of beans. Um, so we're going to be doing two videos. Oh. One video on a hater 41 with wonky, wibbly, wonky wheels. <laughs> <laughs> you say it? Wibbly, wonky, <laughs> wibbly, wonky, wonky wheels. Um, I, I'm sure I saw this mower to a fella a little while ago, um, so I don't know what's happened. But um, he said, do a service on it and also... Um, my puppy died. Uh, do what, mate? My doggy near puppy. Yeah. He died. That was a long time ago that our dog died. That was a long time ago. What an elf. All right, have a look. Not down here. I don't know, a bit of dust. So, um, going to do a Hater 41. And also, we've got a Honda Easy to look at as well. So, we'll look at that as well, yeah? Honda Brandon Easy. What? Brandon's at work, yeah? No, Brandon's in Mum's house. Brandon's at Mum's house. Where's Ethan? Uh, no, Ethan's gone to his girlfriend's to a hotel. In there, and, where, and where's Josh? Josh is sleeping. Josh is sleeping. All right. Where's Mummy? Mummy uh, sleeping too. Mummy sleeping too. Uh, before we get on, um, yeah, old pair of those. Uh, we've got two pairs of these, uh, forceps or as Bruce calls them, hemostats. What do you do? Uh, they're for clamping fuel hoses. So clamp. Um, I can't do it. Well, you, you have to give them a bit of a twist. That's why. Not that, so you mean open up. But, 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 don't, but don't put your finger in there. Um, I can't remember who sent me these. I did um, shout them out on my live stream. I just can't remember off the top of my head. And I can't remember whether it's in a comment, in a video, an email, or Instagram. I can't remember where, where, the, where the name is. So thank you very much for those. They come up off my Amazon wish list. Super, 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 super great. Come on back. How are you laughing? No, twist it. Yeah, and daddy help. Yeah. There you go. Right. Yeah, Thank you very much. So I've got those, and then these have come all the way from America. Uh, these have come from my good friend uh, Roger McDonald, who won one of my mixed mouse caps a little while ago. No, no, not Ronald, Roger McDonald. Um, he, he won a couple of prizes, and he sent over all the way from America. Where's he got? Oh, we've got a letter too. Here you go. We've got a letter there. He sent us over four or five. Boy, boy. He sent us over four or five. No way. Riley boy, it says Riley boy, yeah. He sent us over um, some BP um, R6 ES um, spark plugs for the Hondas and, and overhead valves. So fantastic, Daddy, thanks for those. What have you got? What have you got? <laughs> We've got a little love letter here. <clears throat> yes, who he is. Let's have a look. Yes, he does. Oh, what are you? We've got, got uh, a mowers and blowers sticker, an original one. I got. And we've also got a mowers and blowers. Um, oh, ch a checker plate one. I don't think I've got that one. I've got a hologram one. So I've got two stickers there from Henry Miles and Blowers. These are coming from Roger. What did not say? Uh, the note says, uh, Mick, just a little something to help you out in your shed. That's the spark plugs. Thanks again for the stickers, keychain, and especially the hat. Hope you and the family are well from Roger McDonald. So fantastic. Cheers, Roger. Much appreciated Why for that. McDonald's. That's cool. You like, do you like, you like a McDonald's, don't you? <laughs> what's, what's your, what's your favourite McDonald's? What do you like eating? Chicken nugget. Chicken nugget what? Happy. Chicken nugget, happy Wait. meal. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a little parcel. This is just something I, I actually purchased. Now, I made, I made a bit of a mistake because I ordered some carburetors and turned out one of my subscribers owns this um, eBay channel. It's him some fuel line, free of charge. Um, he also sent me over a Tilliston carburetor. Now, these are getting a little bit rare uh, to find those. Um, oh. and it's a bit dirty. Um, What's your name? It's not the Tilliston. Um, these are great for the uh, Decumpsy, um cylinder mowers. They're good for that. And the bound morals, they go on there. But they're becoming a little bit a little bit sought after to get hold of those now. Daddy. So if you do see them, I'll pick some up. Daddy. Yeah. Is there nothing here? Huh? A puzzle. Yeah, there's a few bits, yeah. I've got the air, the air box to go with it. So that you, you, you want that. And I also picked up... Um, a Delorto carb as well, Ooh. which they've become a little bit rare too as what well now. Mean? A little Decumish Delorto. So th th these these are original carburetors for That's these. What's that? That says choke and go. So, um, funny enough, I think his name's Flumps. Um, but if you want his uh, contact, let me know because what he does is he actually just he he strips down uh, cylinder mowers and sells the parts on eBay. Okay. So let us know if you want um, if you want his contact. If you're looking after a bit, looking for a particular part, he may very well have it. Rollers, cylinders. The Scarify units, grass bags, grass box bars, a lot. He, he's got a lot over there. So he did say to me, if you were if you're contacting me, I've done you a deal. But you know, for, for what I paid for a car, it wasn't wasn't a great deal of money, and and it's worth that all day long. So that's super super cool. Yeah. Um, so we'll be doing the Hater 41 first, and then we'll come back and do a video a bit later on on the Honda. Uh, as I say, the Hater 41 is, is a four wheeled Honda, not one with a roller, that one? and it's just got wibbly wobbly wheels on the back. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's sort out this little tiny wibbly wobbly <laughs> problem. <laughs> right, 
Right, let's go and um, let's go and get it in then, shall we? Where, where's the little hater? That's one we're after. Here it is, little hater 41. This one. Oh. There she is. We take the grass box off. So it's a little hater, hater Harrier 41, which is funny because it's, it's actually got the hater hunter grass box on it. That's just the way, they, the way they design them. They're nice and light, so I need to put it up on the older uh, pump it up. And I'll show you what these wheels are doing. Let me just put that in the old uh, scrap bin, ready for my scrap man. No, not particularly heavy, mate, no. Let me just bring it around, around this way, and I'll show you exactly what we've got occurring. I haven't had, I haven't really had a look at it myself yet, to be honest. There you go. So as you can see, we've got a bit of movement here. See that? A bit of flex going on. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, the axle all seems to be drunk, so I hope nothing snapped. If something has snapped, then we're going to be a bit stuck here for, um, for getting this motor fixed. So what I'm going to tend to do is there's fuel in this, if there's fuel in this machine. Uh, what I intend to do is tip it up into the arrested position, CPR position as I call it. All the way back, like so. Well, we might lose a bit of petrol and what have you. But that way it give me a better look as to what's actually happened. That's all in place. Oh, okay. All right, not too shabby. Let me show you. I've got my, my new quick release system now, so I can just take you straight off the old tripod. Bring it on down. And as you can see, just here, Oh, maybe there is something broke. I don't know if I can fix that or not. Where? Um, so there's a screw got to come out here. This, this little tiny, this little finger, that's Riley's little finger. That little tiny bit there, that's got to go Why into there? into there. Why there, Daddy? So th this may be too far gone, even for me to repair oh, without um, without uh, buying a complete new uh, uh, deck surround for it, if I can get one. That's a bit of a nightmare. So the first thing to do is to remove that Phillips screwdriver head, take that out, because that's all broke, see? Something's, hat, something's hit here. Hmm, yeah. what am I gonna do with this? We're we'll taking it out anyway, have a little look at it, see what we can't do. Right, I've just messaged the, uh, just messaged the old fella who it belongs to, and uh, he says, if you can find a replacement part for that, uh, go ahead and do it. Uh, I have found one already online and uh, 65, 70 quid for that, which is a complete cowling, goes all the way around, a rear deflector and uh, axle mounts as well. So give us two ticks, let me do a little bit of jibby poke and I'll be back. Uh, hello, yeah, uh, wonder if you can help me. I'm after a uh, Hater Harrier 41 uh, grass deflector cowling uh, because the, the, the rear, -wheel, rear -wheel wheeled axle uh, supports are broken. I just wonder if you've got one in stock. Okay, let it hold. It's gonna hold. Hello. You have? Lovely. I'll take it. My name? J. R. Hartley. Okay, so um, they have got the part in, um, so we can we have got a part coming. Uh, it's going to be in a couple of days, I expect, because um, of postage. So yes, buddy, back. you're back. Are you? Where you been then? Uh, Anywhere good? Yeah, I'm watching TV. You've been watching TV, fair enough, mate. So um, yeah, a bit cut of days uh, before that part comes in. Uh, so what I need to do is now remove this. Now to remove it isn't actually a, a massive job in itself. Uh, there's a tension spring on. <laughs> which we'll have to remove that. Uh, there's a couple of um, Phillips um, bolts here to remove. Now this is in for service also. In fact, that, oh my Lord, state of that, someone's, someone's been in there. Somebody's been in there. Somebody's been peeking. I'll try to be as fun as I can, right? I might get a little socket on that. Uh, let's try an eight mil. It does look a little bit bigger than an eight. I don't think a nine will go on. I'll try a ten. Um, so you've got to remove the um, 
these little tiny uh, axle supports. Um, so yeah, I just spoke to the fellow and he said, he, he said he'll uh, please, please go through with the repair, which is good. Is that gonna come off or is that just gonna shear off in the end? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming out? Yeah, it's coming out, buddy. What's your name? Bracket. Is it alright? Yeah, it's alright, mate, yeah. What are you doing? So I've got bracket there, bracket there. Now, I've got you to find the other two bits that come off of that. Where is it? I don't know. Did you touch them, Riley boy? I didn't touch them. I might put them back in. So we're getting my magnet tray, which is my brand spanking new one from my birthday. Happy birthday, Daddy. Yeah, happy birthday, Riley. Um, that's cool. So that should now jump out of there. Uh, that can stay as is, like that now. So we're happy with that. I'm going to remove that um, that blade. That's got to come off, just for ease of access. Uh, should be about a 14 mil on there, I would have thought. That's a 13 mic. So I'll remove the HT lead, because I got told off last week for not removing the HT lead. Someone told, someone told me off. No, quite right, so. So we're gonna move the old blade. Just want a bit of a tap on there and all. So this video, um, I, sh I, shall, I shall start it and then uh, um, we put it, put it to one side and then I'll continue with the video once a part comes in. A bit more beans. That's good. Do it, buddy. Well, it's starting to come apart, mate. It's starting to come apart. So that would be the, uh, the 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 first part of it of removed. There'd be a couple more other bolts um, scattered and littered about. Uh, that should just pull apart just here and there would be a little tiny bolt or something similar up this end. So let me a bit of a clean up and I'll come back when I've identified the, the rest of the fixing bolts. Right, your next bolt to remove will be just here, uh, halfway up. Now hopefully that's not going to snap off because these have a tendency, these steel versus aluminium threads, they tend to snap. There's a little tiny bolt just here to remove. There she is. That's good. That will now loosen some of that up. See that's starting to give it secrets up now. now. I'm not sure. I don't think that's part of the cowling there. I don't think it is. I've got my old grass buster out and we're, we're sc scraping as we go. Trying to identify all the parts that need to be removed. I'm guessing there'd be one up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is, right at the very, very top. There's one there. I want, want quite a long extension bar for that. Quite a big boy. I might have to put a reducer on. to get that and I have got some bigger extension bars somewhere in my uh, box in my box of many things. Right, I found my extension. Uh, I had an extra long one here, so I just gonna, I need that just to get right up inside here. So down here, uh, there's a little tiny 10 mil bolt up in there. That's to be removed. And dropped on the floor, no doubt. And that's going to be same size as the other one. So I'm guessing there's going to be one down the other side. Let me get me a me old uh, torchio. Uh, put my torch in my uh, toolbox. I think I put it away. No, I think I put it away, not you. 
Yes, buddy. Say again, mate. How long before mummy's awake? Yeah. She'd be asleep for a little while, mate, because you was awake at early doors. Um, so we've got a bolt here to remove also, just here, uh, which is on a stabling bolt. Not quite sure what that's spinning on, but it's spinning on something. Or is it? No, it's not. The whole bolt's coming out, okay. That's good. So we've got a whole bolt come out of there as well. Hopefully that hasn't sheared off. If it has, we'll have to do a bit of drilling. It's starting to loosen up now. We've got another bolt down here to do, behind this back wheel. The good thing is with, is with these, is if, they do, if they do shear off, you can just drill them. That's the advantage. Got a bolt here to remove as well. So at the moment, the, at the moment, they all seem to be about the same size bolts, which is good. Got one more down this side here to do. I also want to move this mower slightly because it's not actually resting on the actual deck, it's actually resting on the uh, on the cowling. Got one there to do. Now that, that all seems to be okay. There it goes. So there you go, and that's the piece we need. And there you go, you can see quite clearly here, here's a, the good side of a bracket, and here's the bad side. And that's where it should be. No doubt you could probably, you know, try and close that gap up and put a bit of something across there if you wanted to, but it's a weak point, you know. So that's no good. Looking at this bolt here, yep, that bolt did actually shear off, so I've got to drill that and tap that, which would be this bit here. So I'm going to get old my old mate Pete. He might have a spare bit for that. And if he does, I can then drill that bit out and tap it to put that up into there. So I'll get my old, my old mate Pete. He's got some spare parts for these. And uh, he, he, he just loves sending me parts, that bloke. He just, he just can't do enough for a good man. So I'll get hold of Pete in a bit and see if he's got a, a, a spare, that, that spare part there. I don't think it comes with it. And then I'll get a bit of a clear up and I'll be back in two ticks. Okay, so this is where we are. I've got a part coming, um, new cowling coming, this is cool. And also this part here, which sits up into here, it's like a pillar support. Uh, that is sheared off. Uh, so I had to order one of those as well. Uh, that was 11 quid. Um, so I've just put a punch onto that. I'm now going to drill that out. Hopefully it will come out with, um, with a, a bit, bit of drilling, but that's the idea. Um, if not, I have to drill and tap it. So, got to do that first, get that done. Uh, I could have got someone to make that up on a lathe for me, but, but by the time someone makes it up on a lathe for me, then, uh, you know, or a bit of threaded bolt maybe could have done it, you know, but it would have been a bodge. Let's do it right. So, um, I've got to drill and, drill and tap that out, possibly. Once that comes out, um, I'll then put the mower to one side and um, then I can just wait for the cowling to come in and the spare part to come in and we come back to it. But you'll see it in two or three seconds. It's gonna take me, you know, two or three hours to get all this lot done, put together. Um, but you'll see it, but next time you see it, the cowling would have turned up and the pillar would have turned up and then we can get this machine put back together. So let me get it drilled and tap. I might bring it back just to show you how I'm getting on with that, but uh, we'll see how we get on first. Right, so what we're now doing is um, I drill that hole out and now we're just uh, tapping a new thread in. I've just got it started and we're now just slowly tapping in this uh, this new one in. Unfortunately it's going to be a bit of a bit of a swine to actually tap because of a, because the space is a bit restricted. I've got it started but I'm just now slowly trying to get this to bite in into place where I can. Not the easiest thing to do. 
because just, just space is just you know really restricted. That's got it. So I'm just going just going to put some new threads in here, um, and then when the new part turns up, we should be good to go for uh, putting that that bolt in. I'm using an M6 in here, which seems to be the uh, the better the better one for it. I might even have to transfer over to a set of mole grips or something just to tap that all the way in. Uh, it's got it, but uh, just want to make sure I tap the threads are tapped in. So busy tapping away. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so I have now, hopefully, looking at it, I've got some nice threads in there now. Do you want to see them? Do you want to see my new threads? I don't, I don't do a lot of drilling and tapping, to be fair. I do a little bit. Can you see them? Let's have a look. See how far we can go. There you go. I don't know if you can see in there. Uh, but there's nice new threads in there now. So that's been drilled and tapped. Um, hopefully, that'll be all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one of the bolts that come off, and I'm hoping that's going to be the same size as, as that. Mm, should be, he says. And we'll try and fit that in there. And then I'm just very gently with my um, ratchet, just going to try and wind that home. See if it'll take. Actually, do you know what? I might actually put that in, because that's the original thread. Yeah, that likes it. Yeah, that's going. Is that the same style thread as that? It should be. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to wind that one in. And then that will then give us the threads we want for when I get the pillar bit in. Just want to run that in. If that snaps now, you've had it. So just go a bit easy. All right, that's all the way home. That's lovely. And all the way back out. So never give up if you if you shear bolts off. You know you can just get the drill and tap set. I don't use them a lot. I must admit, I don't use them a lot at all. But um, if you've got a set, brilliant. You know they, they do get you out of a pickle. Um, and if you uh, if you haven't got a set, then get a set. That's what I'm trying to say. Bit of oil in there. And never goes amiss. Bit of Earl. And that should now, that should run in there absolutely beautiful now. Yeah, there you go, look. Look at that. That's made to go in there. So I'll leave that in there for now. So I, don't, so I know where that bit goes. And that was uh, a 10 mil, I believe. But uh, I put an M6 in after I drilled it out. And that now fits in there last show. Yeah, pick yourself up a set. I got a cheap set from Sealy. Uh, cost me about 25 quid, so pick a set up. Okay, so welcome back. It's been about four days, uh, four or five days. I've been waiting for parts to come in, um, which is good. Uh, only one thing that did happen whilst I was stripping it down was this little tiny piece here, this pillar. Um, that actually sheared off inside. You did see it in, in the last part of the video clip where I've come in here and drilled and tapped that out. And uh, that is now, that's just turned up. That's about 11 quid for that, okay? Um, it's um, described as pillar, pillar support. So you're gonna have to look it up. Uh, I use um, Shoulders of Shoreham. Uh, they're, they're quite a good company in my area for, uh, for bits and pieces. So just, just find your, your, your code on your, on your machine. And uh, yeah, I looked up Shoulders of Shoreham. They do two, two different types. Just make sure you've got the right type because they, are, they do differ. And all that does is that's just gonna literally um, screw into the deck, which has already been, as I say, pre-drilled and tapped by myself. Uh, a little bit of old pants on there, just to, just to secure it, and that should go up nice and tight and have no no dramas, which is there. And it has now just stopped, so that is on there fully tight. To be fair, a very very poor design because uh, you can just snap that off with your hand. You can just snap that that clean off. So go very very careful with that. Um, this um, part of the deck has turned up, second hand part, um, which I have, to be fair, I've looked at a close inspection of it, didn't show it in the photographs, but on close inspection it has actually got a little tiny crack there, 
same fault as the other one, but nowhere near as bad. So what I've done is I've actually just plastic welded all the way through there and all the way through there as well now. Uh, so that's now fully secure. Um, it's just the way it goes. It, it, is, it is just a weak point of the, uh, of the deck. And all we want to do... Hi, Riley boy. I'm recording. No, but this is a, this is a carry-on from the last one. So this is the same video, but we, we'll, uh, you'll get a bit confused. You think I've started a new video and I actually, I actually haven't. Yeah, we, we've, got, we've got to do the outro, mate. So don't, don't, don't panic too much. It'll be fine. And all we want to do then is just slide this um, part of the deck back in say hi guys say hi to Riley boy people he's uh, he's interested in you Daddy. just slide this into place two seconds Riley boy I'm getting there mate and I'll, I'll give you my full attention in two seconds okay sure um just slide it into place roughly where it's got to go go very very careful because of because of the axles and what have you it's all got to be lifted up into into place oh daddy yes buddy what do you find a mount field sticker that is and that goes on a mount field and then that can then just lift up we're nearly there. That goes into there. Turn work, Daddy. That's what I go into there. Daddy. Yes, buddy. Turn it, it does work. Like so. So let me just get a few nuts and bolts joined in. I've got to get that pillar support through the hole as well. Which is not quite lined up yet, but you see where I'm going. So just manipulate this deck back into place. It's not quite pushed up as far as I would like. You need to go a bit careful, guys, because otherwise you're just going to snap it the same as the other one. So just go a bit easy. That, that spring's right on the way down the bottom here. There it goes. That's better. That's what it's caught up on. Hang on, Riley boy. Just a little bit. Just a little bit busy, mate. I know you want. I know you're full of questions, and you want me to give you all the answers in the world. But I've just got to get, get a few little bits lined up here. So make sure that your pillar support is gone through the right hole down through here, and you line all the rest up. I'll do that. I'll be back in two ticks. Right. So I think I've got it all lined up now. Uh, there's a hole just there at the top. It's got to be, it's got to be squared in, just a touch. It's nearly there. It's not, a, it's not a million miles out. So that's got to go into there like so. Uh, this axle's here lined up, and so is this one here. And then just below it, and if you can see, right up in there. Uh, where are we? Let me find it. Uh, where is it? There it is there, yeah. Right up inside here, that's where the pillar support goes. Right up inside that little tiny... Um, bracket just there and that's where a little tiny 38 bolt goes on there and you've got one um, bolt space down the bottom there <coughs> you've got one up in there to do you've got this one here to do as well as I say I don't think there's one down this neck of the woods don't think there is and then there'd be one or two right at the very very base of the flap as well right down in there so let me get them done up very quickly I'll be back to you in two ticks right so I think we're down. So we've got one in here, done. Uh, one down in the darkest depths down there, done. One down here in the darkest depths, done. One over here, a little tiny brown one, that's done. Uh, and then also, uh, we've got the, pin, the pillar gear one is just up in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little tiny nut up in there as well. That's where the pillar gear goes. So now what's left to do, um, is we need to secure the axles <coughs> to the to the cowling. <coughs> Pardon me, and that's done with uh, four screws, two either side. Right. So what I had to do um, because the height adjustment rod wasn't quite it gone gone past the, the height adjustment arm itself. So I've just taken the bolt off the bottom, uh, which is where the spring goes. So I've got to reconnect the spring up shortly. But now the height adjustment. If I pull the, the knob in there the axle will, will, will now spin freely, okay? So now, all that's left to do is to put these two screws in on this side, one hiver and one hiver, screws head. We'll start that one off, and then do the one just below him, like so. And then I can come over this far side over here, you can still see it, yeah. uh, far side, I want another screw. And that one will put this one in place down here as well. So I'll get them done up. That's why the height adjustment didn't want to collapse because uh, the um, this metal bar gone past the height adjustment arm itself. Ah, 
And now I'm going to reposition my lawnmower onto its side to reconnect the spring back up onto, um, onto its connection. And I shall show you how to do that in two ticks. Right, so the best way to um, put the spring back on, on on these machines that I've now been talked, um, Les told me how to do it, one of my subscribers. Undo the screw, undo the screw, take that out, okay? With that out, uh, your height adjustment will, will then just literally just, just drop to the ground, okay? Like so, it'll just drop. Once it's dropped, um, remove your front wheel, just here. Take that off, remove that. I mean, just remove the circlip on the front of the uh, front of said axle. Okay, very easy to do. Take that off, and then remove the uh, front axle assembly from the front. Uh, the height adjustment off of the uh, off the assembly, like so. Mrs. P's cutting grass. You may get a bit of background noise. She's just test running one of my Hondas for me despite the grass has only been cut three days ago. Anyway, um, now tip the lawnmower up onto its side. Okay, like so. Let me bring it around a bit more, see so a bit closer. Okay, like that. Right, so now what you can do, you can see how much adjustment you've now got on this, on this um, back axle, okay? So now what you can do is you can now hook up your spring onto um, the back bolt just there, which I've, which I've inserted, okay? And now you can pull the axle all the way back and then just very, very easily, with no problems, just hook up your um, spring onto the height adjustment bar, like so. And now you have your spring all back into where it needs to be already, okay? Now this is the only difficult part. All you've now got to do is, is, to, is to stretch that spring. If you hold with your hand here and then grab that back flap just there with one hand, you can then come up to the front. Let me show you. So it's the same, the same clasping method. Let me bring you around to here, that's it. So now if you watch this bit here, by me grabbing that back axle like I just showed you and grabbing that back flap, you can now get hold of it and literally squeeze it just so it pops into place, which is there. And then get your circlip, push him back on. That's bit, this is the hardest bit, it's just for the circlip. Uh, I'll pair of long nose pliers perhaps, and a pair of even longer nose pliers. This is the hard bit. But yeah, my mate Les, he'd been going up this about 40 years. He said, ah, oh, you're doing that all wrong, boy. That's all right, teach me. So he has. We're gonna get a circlip in there and in there. A, you know, a star clip, and I'm going to push that up with a screwdriver. It better. Mrs. Pease has asked me if she can keep the Honda, is he? That's all right. You can have it. 150 quid. And there you go. So that's now how I now do the height adjustment rods on these little babies because beforehand I used to struggle like, struggle like anything with bits of pull cord and what have you, you know? Learn as you go. And my mate Les taught me a new way of doing it. And that's probably the best way I've ever, I've ever seen it done. You can then get your, your wheel back on. Not too tight because you're making rub. Like that, too tight. Something like that, perfect. You can then tip your lawnmower back up onto its wheels. Like so. And then you can see this will now, this will now all move, but all we now got to do is just got to hook up the, your two your two bit screws here and just make sure that your spring all moves and tighten that back 10 bolt up at the other end. So that's how you do that. So I'm gonna go, go to fit this uh, height adjustment now. All you've got to do is make sure, sorry for budging the old camera, just make sure that you push this height adjustment down enough so that it the, the end stop is, has gone past, okay? Once it's gone past, you can then insert this piece on and it'll then stop it, okay? 
you can either get one of your screws, hold it down together. If you let go of it now, it just jump back up again. Big yellow animal screwdriver. Wind that one up. I think Mrs. P likes that Honda. She's not touched my cylinder, that's a fact. The last time she had my hater out, she said, oh, we've run out of diesel, where's the, where's the diesel can? I said, give it back, I'm not having it. Right, so now that's on there, that's on there. That's cushy. Now, look at that, heart just now fully working, back to how it was. And no, no problem in, um, in setting that uh, on, on the spring, rather than what, how I used to do it. So there's always an upgrade, we're always learning. I'm going to tip that back onto its side again. So I've got a 10 mil bolt at the far end, which I still haven't quite done up, which is on the other end of a spring. I want to make sure that's all the way home. Which it is. And that's that done. So that is how you replace the, um, the crack deck assembly on one of these machines. I don't think that's a bracket there, is it? No, it's not, it's dead. Okay, it's good. Um, on one of these little hater hunters or hater, hater harriers. Um, quite tricky to do. If you can find a, a reasonable uh, replacement deck feature, then that's not too bad. This machine's got to go forward now and have a full service anyway, which I can do in my leisure. Um, but this machine's been, been, been absent for about, or oh, about a week off from the owner. But as you see, the back wheels are now, are now where they should be. They now roll, they don't collapse, and also the height adjustment is working as it should do anyway. So hopefully the, uh, the, uh, the owner will be super duper happy once I've given it a service. Um, he can have his lawnmower back. Okay, hater hunter, hater harrier, um, now all done and dusted. Uh, all the cans put been, put, been put back on and the wheels are now nice and straight and true as they should be. And that's pretty much how you do it. It is quite a fiddly little process and I had to uh, plastic weld that, um, that donor um, secondhand uh, deck that came in. Uh, had roughly the same problem, but nowhere near as bad. So hopefully a bit of plastic welding, that, that'll secure the issue uh, for a long time to come. But they do snap there, that's exactly where they snap. So that's that. Just a little trick there also on how to set your um, height adjustment springs. None of this pull core stuff anymore. I'm struggling with pry bars and hammers. Uh, my mate Les sorted me right out. So cheers for that, Les, much appreciated. That machine will now go forward and have a full service, um, which is what it's in for as well, uh, repair service. So super happy with that. And by the end of today, hopefully tomorrow, the gentleman can come pick his lawnmower up and he'll be as happy as Larry. If you like this little episode of Mixed Mowers, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be top one done a video or two more on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.